welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Today I have a new four for four, four palettes that I haven't talked about. And spoiler alert, I am going to declutter one of these at the end of this video because after this four for four, I was like, you know what? I don't like it. I think somebody else might get more use out of it and hopefully they will enjoy it more than I had been. We're gonna start with one of my newer palettes. This is the Carly Bible palette for Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I haven't used every shade in this. Obviously, I did try to use as many as possible. That is with all of them. And I'm gonna swatch it really fast and then kind of talk about that. All right, so here are all of the shades. We're gonna start from this end and work our way over. We have Bali, Boli, I don't know, Bible, Mand Mandala, Libra, Jode, OA, Bowie, I think, I don't know. I don't watch Carly Bible, so I'm not quite sure. Bear, Moo, Chai, Cindy, Stev, Aura, and My Angels. So quite a few shades. I think the, we're gonna go this way. The mats are really beautiful. I really like Cindy and Chai and Bear, I used quite a bit. Used Bible, even Bowie and Stev, really nice, solid mattes, and they give you a variety of different looks with those. Shimmers, um, this one I had to build up a little bit, although I did get compliments when I was wearing it, and I really did like that one. I don't like that these two are so similar in shade, and this one is like a chunky glitter, and I don't like glitter, so that's one that I would avo avoid as I was um, using this palette. As for the other shimmers in here, I think they are gorgeous. I really like this one as a kind of a highlight. Uh, Libra and Jode, those are good, like everyday sh kind of shades. Even though this one seems a little dark, it wasn't too out of it. My Angels and Moo are a little similar, but as you can see, they're not like overly similar. But I did, like these two are definitely the closest. I did really enjoy this palette. I can't wait to keep working on it. This is one that I definitely would recommend. I know it might not work as well if you have a darker complexion, but hopefully maybe that Jackie Ina, I have, that's on my list of to put in these things as well. But I do think it's a very solid palette. It is very much like Anastasia Beverly Hills, high quality, blends well, does have some fallout, so do keep that in mind, but I did really enjoy this All right, palette. next up is one of my oldest palettes, and I was like, I need to go revisit this. This is the Too Faced Peach Palette, Sweet Peach Palette. Oh my gosh. I love the smell of it. It still smells amazing. I got this right when I started my YouTube channel, so it's been a few years, but it still is performing really well. I love the mix of colors. This is, to me, a really good everyday palette because there are all of those light shades so that I can make a more work appropriate look but then I can also mix it up and darken it up in different places I am going to swatch this this is going to take me a little time to swatch and I don't know if I'll be able to show it all on one arm so it might be in a couple we'll figure I decided it. to do it one row at a time so we're gonna do this first row first so we have white peach luscious, just peachy, bless her heart, tempting and charmed, I'm sure. Like, even though I said this palette is a few years old, look at how gorgeous, well, this is that white peach. It's a super light one. So if you're any darker than me, it probably won't show up at all. <laughs> but I do really love like this shade here and this one, oh my gosh, really beautiful. Let's get the all second right, one. and then we have our second line here, which is Nectar, Cobbler, Candied Peach, Bellini, Peach Pit, and Delectable. I don't know if you can tell Delectable. It is kind of a purplish color. It's not swatching the best, but I feel like it performs well on the eye. Yeah, I'm just, as I was wearing this and as I'm swatching it, I'm like, why did I ever stop wearing this palette? Because it's so beautiful, it's so nice. I really love the colors in it and I just got distracted by all of the like 100 palettes that I bought since this one came out and yeah this one is definitely a stalwart and I love it. I'm going to swatch that last row for you now. All right and there's our last ones. We got some other really light ones. 
I know this might be a problematic palette if you have darker, a darker skin tone, but for me personally, I really like this one because it works really well with my skin tone. So I have Peaches and Cream Georgia Caramelized Pure Wet Puree, ugh, Summer Yum, and then Tuck Derby To Me. Of all of these, the two that I kind of stay away from is Tuck Derby To Me and Tempting. Not because they're super dark, I mean, that's part of it, but also because those two have like, they're kind of like a matte with a glitter. They're not as, a sh they're not like a true shimmer and they're not, you probably can, t hopefully can tell. This is a really dark purple, but it does have that microfine glitter in it, but it's more of a matte formula. It's not like the shimmer, which is my favorite. I love that they're shimmers. You don't need a finger to apply. I feel like I do need to do that with the ABH. Like this one, I used my finger to apply the glitters to make them look the shimmers, not the glitters, to make them look really, to make them stand out. That's the word I'm looking for. This one, I feel like I can use any brush I want. It's going to go on really nice. That shimmer is going to show up and I'm going to have a really lovely look. So this one, I was really glad to revisit for my collection and definitely am going to be using this one on a more regular basis. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this series is to test out things and actually rotate through my collection because it's very easy to, you know, forget about different palettes like my Sweet Peach palette, but also to get rid of some ones that um, I'm not as thrilled with, which is what has happened with my next palette, which is the, I have a hair on it, ugh, the Naked Cherry by Urban Decay. I really wanted this palette and this one I actually redeemed Alta Points for, so luckily I did. I kind of spent my money on it, but kind of not. That's what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to swatch it for you and show you what all the shades look like. But the reason I'm going to get rid of this one is I just could not make looks that I was happy with with this. I want that standout shimmer that really just looks really pretty that doesn't kind of fade away. Even with my fingers, I couldn't make these shimmers look good. and. I liked it better when I took my new my mini nudes palette from Huda and used it in conjunction with this and used the glitters. And I'm not the person that likes to do that. I want a palette that has everything in it, that has good shimmers, good mattes, unless I wanna do an entirely matte look, um, which doesn't happen very often. But this one, I just felt like it kind of muddied and looked the same no matter what I did. And it just, it wasn't very pretty if that's, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to swatch them so you can see what. All I'm right. Doing. So here are all of them from this way to this way. We have hot spot, caution, bang, bang, feels, juicy, turn on, ambitious, bing, devilish, young love, drunk driver, drunk dial and privacy. Now the shimmers actually look pretty darn good right now. They don't last. Um, that was the thing that I found, like after a little bit of time, they started fading. I don't know how I have like a smudge there. They started fading and I couldn't tell that I had a shimmer on my lids whatsoever. These three darkest shades, this is a double swatch. I went over them twice to get them to show up because they showed up so patchy the first time. Every single one of the mattes I had to blow on because I had so much fallout, it didn't go on smooth at all and I didn't dig heavily into the pans or anything but it just it had so much potential I really love the color story and some of the shades are pretty but I just I don't want to deal with it and I want to know that my eyeshadow is going to look good all day because I'm not the type of person that does just to look for a couple hours I wish I was a YouTuber and just did makeup all the time that would be amazing but I have a full-time job I have extra jobs that I do. I'm, you know, I'm on the board of a theater company. So I have things that I'm doing all the time in the community. And this, I do when I can have time and I wish I had more time to devote to it. Cause this is the thing, my fun, my fun job, the fun things I like to do. Anyway, it looks really pretty here swatched. 
it just doesn't translate to the eyes, which was super disappointing. So this one is going to be decluttered. I'm going to be putting it in my pass along pile. See if one of my friends wants it that doesn't do as much makeup. All right, fourth palette is the Nabla Secret Palette. Um, I was actually really disappointed that it wasn't called the Secret Garden Palette because that's what I originally thought it was called. But I had heard good things about it and I had Ultra Points, so I decided to redeem for them. And oh my goodness, am I so glad that I did. I love this palette. I've gotten quite a bit of use since I got it in December. I've worn it just a lot. Um, I already swatched them all. So as you can see, like most of them, the black's a little patchy, not terrible, um, but they swatch really lovely. They swatch as good as they go on the eyes, which is pretty impressive. These are some of the most blendable matte shadows that I have ever worked with. They just go on like a dream and they just, oh, they just work beautifully. Super easy palette to work with, to make looks with which I really appreciate. We're gonna go over the colors really fast. <laughs> Hang on. All right, so going over them from side to side, we have Aesthetic, Contigo, Big Experience, Gioletta, Romeo, Play Hard, which is this gorgeous shade right there, Rosemary, Addiction, Fantasize, Mea Culpa, I Promise, Hypersensual, Ghibli, Maybe, not sure about that one. Then we have Creation Crown and Na Black, which is my least favorite shade in the palette. It's not one that I really reach for. I don't use a whole lot of black shadows, but I really love that I can make some amazing work looks. These are amazing. I use those quite a bit. I've used these shadows over here. I haven't so much gone into these four, that are the most like striking of the shades. I haven't played with those very much, just a little bit. I wasn't happy with it, but I think that's how I was creating the look. It what had nothing to do with the palette. It was, it was a personal thing. But yeah, all of the other shades, I have absolutely been loving. Really recommend this palette. I just got the Poison Garden palette because because I love this one so much and I'm hoping that it's good as well. So if I was going to rank these, pretty darn easy to tell that this would be number one, my Nabla Secret Palette. Coming in at number two would be my Too Faced Peach just because I feel like I've used it, I've had it for a long time. It's still working just as good as it did before. The shades just work really well um, and I love the shimmers that I can do them very easily. Um, third place would be my Carly Bible palette, just because the shimmers are a little harder to work with and they're not, they have that glitter that's very similar to the shimmer as well. So that's why it came in at third. And then obviously my Naked Cherry palette comes in at fourth because it is being decluttered. So let me know if you've tried any of these palettes or any of these formulas, what your thoughts are on them, if you are interested in getting any of them or if you found that you don't like any of them, let me know that down below as well. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. If you're not subscribed already, it would mean so very much to me if you would take a second and hit that subscribe button. And I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.